So we're just going to try the air intake bolted straight to the manifold intake. So we take the carburetor now missing from in between. That means there's no throttle butterfly control or choke. And we can only control the engine speed by the gas volume going in. So this conveniently, well, conveniently fits on the gas. I don't we really call that. What do you call uh, this? That, this is the exhaust gas reburning tube. So, no, no, is that sump? Sump. Sump gas. Uh, sump gas. Burning, burning vent <laughs> thing tube. Anyway, yeah. sends it back. Normally sends it back into the intake of the carburetor for reburning. So that, fits, that should fit pretty snugly. You shouldn't have to hold that. Mm, I think I will. Right. Let's see if this goes. This went really well just earlier, so I'm just, I'm just cracking this open ever so slightly. That's it. You can, hear. You can hear the gas coming through, and then um, have a go starting. Get to the compression point. There we go. So that works, and that, that's a plausible setup. But no air control. But no air control, so yeah, it might just be burning too lean and damaging things. It might get too hot, might burn the valve seats. Because we, now we've got no throttle. The throttle, throttle, throttle that's the, this is the throttle here. That, that's what normally controls the engine speed by controlling the amount of air flowing over the top of this jet and that controls how much fuel gets sucked up just by vacuum pressure in this tube. So normally the mixture is, I don't know, constant-ish and the volume is controlled by that. Yeah, so the more so, suction, the more fuel. More suction, more fuel. But this is as much air as the engine can get, plus a variable amount of fuel. Um, so, hmm, will that, burn, will that mean it's, will that be bad for the engine? 